Good morning, Bexley Heath Academy. I hope you are fit and well. Uh, well, welcome to what is uh, week five and the last week of this term. And it hasn't that flown by already. I hope your week four assessments were OK. I hope they weren't too challenging, although with my teacher hat on, I certainly hope they were a little bit challenging uh, to keep your learning moving forward. Um, I'm going to start with a really important message this morning. This week, so from the 18th to the 24th of this week, it is the Mental Health Awareness Week 2020. This is actively supported by the Mental Health Foundation. They have a very, very good website I recommend you do check out. So their idea, their basis upon uh, the whole treatment of mental health is all about um, prevention rather than cure. So they have on their toolkits about how to identify your mental health and how to improve your well-being. They look at working with young families, with people, with young people, even in the workplace, people in later life, identifying where inequality of support is happening and trying to change that balance. Also trying to influence policy within the government. So as I say, check out their website and have a good look at it. It's really interesting. With their focus on prevention, we're going to link this in to uh, the Mental Health Awareness Week and the key focus is kindness. And I'm hoping you can see the link there, how kindness can support the prevention of someone's mental health or even support your own. It's quite commonly said, kindness, it costs nothing, but it means everything. In a time of such uncertainty, the ones that we have lived through, I'm confident you have had a moment of doubt, a moment of consideration, a thought where you're concerned about where you're going, where it's going to go forward from here. And I think kindness can go a long, long way in making a huge difference with this. Kindness is the act of doing something selfless for someone else. A genuine desire to make a positive difference in someone else's life. Now, these don't have to be huge acts. There can be a quiet word, a smile, a text during the day, a positive email to someone you're thinking of. They don't have to change the world around. They just have to nudge it in the right direction. Kindness is a two-way street, though. The receiver of kindness feels happiness, has a feel-good factor, can very, very quickly bring a smile to the face, and that can change someone's direction in their day. It can build friendship, support, and hope for that person. But the giver of kindness can feel more positive about themselves. It can brighten their own day. It can bring a smile to their face, and that's important. To start our Mental Health Awareness Week, we've got a calendar, a, a, an event every day, where we're going to be supporting the idea of kindness and how it can be brought into your working week. So the kind, kindness we want to support today is to be kind to yourself. That is your start point. If you cannot be kind to yourself, you cannot be kind to others quite effectively. So by the end of today, I'd like you to grab a piece of paper, please. And on that piece of paper, write down one success you have had today. Now, what could that success be? It could be a great answer in a Google Classroom with your English teacher. It could be um, getting a cup of tea ready for the family. It could be sending an email or, a, or an e-card or a text to someone that's, that's on your mind and just want to make them smile. So have a think about what, that, what was that success? What was that success for you today? What was that thing that made your day special for you? Write it down, hold on to it, and make sure it's there for you. I do hope you look forward to this and take on board. We will be sharing each calendar event as we go through the uh, week, and I look forward to seeing those develop with you. Right, I have rattled on enough. I'm now going to pass over to Miss Gibbs, who I know is very keen and ready to talk about some of the English work going forward this week. Miss Gibbs, over to you. Thank you, Mr. Walters. Um, last week, Key Stage 3 worked on the George Orwell competition. It was a writing competition um, across the whole country. Um, there were some fantastic entries. And this week, we are going to try and share as many with you as we can. So I wanted to start off today um, with an entry um, by Louis, Louis Forsdijk in Year 7. It's um, very thought-provoking. So I'm going to read it to you now. Um, the theme 
along which they were writing was a future that we want. So bear that in mind as you listen. Let's first establish who are we? A group of people staring at screens, leaving hate comments, hoping someone cries over the contents. You call this society? This is just nonsense. Our brains are melting over an Apple Watch with all the money spent on products. You'd think we'd be able to make time stop. All these gadgets give us migraines, mental health problems and reliability on microwaves. Pick up a book. Don't read an ebook. Talk to a real person, not a stranger while you shoot guns. Let's establish what makes you you. Are you known for playing a game? Do you actually know? Do people actually know you, not just your avatar? Do people see your real face, not just the guy with a virtual Jaguar? Your brain is melting like a chocolate bar. Do you not realise what you're doing? Is something in your head charred? All your PlayStation 4 will give you is low self-esteem, anxiety, sleep deprivation, and a big, wide emotional scar. You're probably one of the people who complain about others spending too much time on computers, but then go home and do the same thing. I'm starting to feel dizzy. I don't feel so good at all. Maybe I was wrong. We need electronics for lots of things, I guess. I can hear them calling me, beckoning me. They agree with me, slightly. I can feel myself being sucked in gradually. Simprisa Pero Symposia. I'm stuck in the middle of this media obsessed plaza. There's no escape. Thank you very much for your entries, Key Stage 3. I'm going to hand back to um, Miss Lipta. Hi, Miss. Thank you so much for that. It was such thought provoking messages there and uh, Mr K's just over there and he's nodding away so well done to that entry there absolutely fantastic and something that I'd really like to uh, take away with me throughout the course of today and think about exactly what you meant by every single line because it's true it's absolutely fantastic now the first thing I'm going to talk about is thank you teacher day so thank you teacher day is on Wednesday if it is that you haven't made a comment or left a comment or left some wonderful message for your teachers please go ahead and do so so if you go onto the main school website there is a tab just up the top uh, on the virtual learning dashboard you just need to click on it and then you can add to our padlet wall so it's going to be a digital wall almost like a digital card that goes out to your teachers so they can see the great things that you've said about them um, whether it's a teacher that's passed you in the corridor and smiles at you every single day whether it's that man in reaper graphics that kind of photocopies everything last minute for you this is your opportunity to give them thanks uh, for the things that they've done so they don't have to teach you if it's me and uh, if it's a wonderful message that I'm giving, I go, no, 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 you don't need to do that. Um, not at all. But if you'd like to leave a message to the teachers or the staff that work here, please go ahead and do so using the Padlet. Or if you want to send in a video saying your thanks, we can compile all those videos together and then send them out to your teachers on Wednesday so they've got something positive to look forward to. Now, the next part is the teacher shout outs. So you are going to be shouting out for your teachers about the great things that they've done over the last uh, seven days you've been doing so. But we're now going to give you some shout outs based on the wonderful things that you've been doing in their lessons. For the first uh, shout out, this is from Ms. Uh, Wilton. That's for uh, Amy, uh, Ilhami and uh, Govin in year seven. Now, what Mrs. said that you've been doing in science is absolutely fantastic work, participating in the lesson. You're very eager to learn and you're resilient through the most challenging time. So well done, guys. The next message is from Miss Hobbs. That's for Megan and Tyler in year 10. What she says about you in business is that you're conscientious, you're independent learners, and you're submitting excellent work currently. So guys, continue with that. Absolutely fantastic. The next message is from Miss, uh, uh, let me have a look, Shelby, there we go, or Selby, I should say. That's for Rebecca in sixth form. Now, in maths, you're showing excellent resilience and effort, so carry on with that. Next or last message is for Aaliyah in years uh, in sixth form. I haven't got a year group, but sixth form in art. What they've noticed, and that's the whole of the sixth form team, is that you're working as an artist. You're really displaying your creativity and you are truly developing into a wonderful artist. So well done and continue with that. We look forward to seeing those masterpieces in the National Gallery at Tate Modern very soon. Now, next, guys, birthdays. Now, it wouldn't be a day without a birthday shout out. And there's two birthdays today. We've got Harry in year nine, happy 14th birthday. We've got Anthony in year 13, happy third, uh, in year 13, happy 18th birthday. What wonderful birthdays, 18 and today, well done. But remember, we're not going to go out and party outside. The best party is a home party, two minutes, guys, all the craze. I keep saying about this uh, time and time again, put in a song for two minutes, dance and party hard in your living room and stay safe, stay at home. If you are having a birthday cake, obviously for blowing on the birthday cake, be hygienic, maybe not blow on it this year and just wave it 
out the candles and we'll be a lot safer that way. Now, guys, um, happy birthday, like I said. Enjoy those days uh, wonderfully. It might be difficult, the sun might be shining, but we are gonna stay at home for that. The next message for me uh, to you is for the year 11 students that are watching right now. If it is that you haven't received a phone call from the SLT team with regards to sixth form, do not worry about that. We've had, I would say, quite an interesting week. The phone calls have lasted forever because we have wanted to have a really good conversation with our year 11 students about what they should be doing next. Now, remember, some of you have panicked me and, I, and emailed me talking about the fact that all the be in place is left. You, as Bexley Heath Academy students, will get priority for those places before any external students do. So do not worry, either today or tomorrow you'll be getting that phone call. If it is that you've changed your phone number, please email me with the updated contact details so we can make sure that we call you and we find out exactly what it is that you want to do next year, even if it is that you want to go somewhere else. Hopefully you don't, uh, but in terms of subjects that you'd like to do next year. So do not worry. By the end of tomorrow, we'll, we'll have called everyone. However, if we haven't phoned you, just go ahead and send me your contact details via email so we can make sure that we can get that call to you as well. Now, last thing from myself, I know that I've had a little, very large segment, but I know that you're all excited to have me back on screen because I am the most popular um, person, as we know, uh, when it comes to the SLT team. No shade on Mr. Waters or Mr. Uh, RGK, just over there, um, because they're quite worried at this point in time. Now, last thing, there's a wonderful video on YouTube right now, which is called Cake in a Mug. Now, Miss Yates has been absolutely fantastic in uploading that video. I made that cake uh, at home. It doesn't take many recipes at all. So if is that you're interested on how to make a cake in a mug with the rest of the ingredients that you've got at home go ahead and look on our youtube channel and you'll be able to make a cake in a matter of minutes um which is absolutely fantastic because hummingbird my favorite bakery is not open this definitely filled that gap i'm going to hand it over to mr k that's got a fun fact of the day and it's got the closing message over to you mr k uh, yes, good morning, everyone. I hope you're all fine um, today. Just my little fun fact uh, for today is that there is um, nowhere in the UK is more than 70 miles away from the beach. So essentially, um, the, oh, sorry, there's a lovely little place called Cot in the Elms in Derbyshire, uh, near, uh, in, near Burton upon Trent. And, you know, they're the furthest away from the water. You know, we're quite lucky here in terms of, you know, easy accessibility to the water. So that's absolutely brilliant. Um, just in terms of um, self-isolation, please always remember, stay at home, wash your hands, keep fit and healthy, and if you're outside, remember social distancing and the two-metre rule. Thank you very much. Have yourselves a lovely day.